In this video, we want to look into how you can move your website that is on ZipWP to your own host. Uh, this is because ZipWP is not a hosting platform and it cannot handle huge amounts of traffic. And if you have a website like this, which we created using AI for this business executive, you would want to move that website to your own host. So there are many hosting platforms out there. But before considering moving to a new host or taking your website to a new host, just make sure that you have a fresh WordPress installed on your hosting provider. It can be Hostinger, it can be Cloudways, like I use Cloudways over here. So once you have that fresh install of WordPress, just like this over here, this is a fresh install of WordPress. When I go to themes, you see I have the default WordPress 2024 theme plugins. I have the default plugins that come when you install WordPress from Cloudways. So let me just deactivate everything because I don't need any of these plugins. Deactivate and then delete these plugins. And if I'm to look at how this website looks like on the front end, that's how it looks like. The next steps is to install a migration plugin. There are many migrations plugins out there. I personally use WP Vivid. So what you have to do is to go to plugins on the newly created fresh install of the website and then install WP Vivid or your favorite migration plugin. So this is it over here. I'll install and then I'll activate that plugin. That step is done. I have my plugin installed and activated. And as you can see here is WP Vivid backup. Plugin. Now, when I go back to ZipWP, I am going to go into the dashboard of my website that I want to migrate and also install the same plugin. So I'm going to come over here to WordPress and then it will take me straight into my Neumannhof website. And you see, this is the website that was created. It's in German. So what I'm going to do is come here to new install of a plugin. I'm going to say add a new plugin or the plugin that I want to install. So this is going to be WP Vivid. So I'll install. So now we have the plugin here active. What we have to do is simply to say create a backup. So or backup now. Now we wait for that backup for a couple of seconds. It also depends on the size of the website. So now it we run and once we are done, it will show up down here. Good, so now we have created our backup in a couple of seconds and down below here is the backup that we created. This is a full website backup. What I want to do is to download this backup. So download. So there is our backup downloaded. The next thing I have to do is now go back to our fresh install of WordPress right over here, which is on our host. And we are going to go to upload and we say select files, or we can simply drag and drop our backup files. Here is my file. And what I'm going to do is upload. Also, the upload will take a couple of seconds to minutes, depending on the size of the upload file. Now the backup file has finished uploading and I get this notification over here and I'll just say, OK. So what I'm going to do here is say restore. And then click again on restore, confirm, OK, and then also wait for a few seconds to minutes, depending on the size of the website. And then your website will be restored. Here I get a notification restore completed successfully and here i'm going to say okay now there is something you have to keep in mind once you move or migrate your website from zipwp to a new web host in this case the logins that you used while you are creating your website on zipwp are the same logins that you have to be using after migrating your website to this host or to the new host that you prefer. So what this means is that now I am brought to this login page and on this page, I have to enter in the login details of the website that I have migrated. And where are those login details? All I have to do is come back here to ZipWP and here is the website that I've migrated. I'm going to click here on the three dots and there is an option called login credentials. And these are the login credentials. We want the username and the password. So I'll copy the username, come here to the login screen, paste, 
and come back here to zipwp, copy the password, come to the login screen, paste the password, and then sign in. And boom, here we are. We are inside the back end of our fully restored website. Remember our website was called Neumannhof and it's in the language German and it is now hosted on Cloudways. Now let's go and have a look at the front end of the website by visiting the website and here we go. And in case your website has the links broken, the trick here is to come back here to the dashboard, come here to settings and down under settings there is an option called permalinks. Just come here and then just save again that page and that's it. It will update the links for all the other pages and then you are good to go. So in a nutshell, that's how you can migrate a website or move a website from ZipWP to your favorite web host.